Hello. Good evening. Hello. Can Hello. you hear me? Oh, yeah, you can hear me. How are you? Oh, nice. Very good. Hello. Hello, Santos. Hello. Hello, Maria. How are you? How do you um, feel? Uh, I feel very good. <laughs> oh, nice. Very good. I can see Mario connected. Hello, Mario. Hello. It's, it's good to see you. Thanks. I, I didn't see you yesterday. Uh, uh, yesterday, I was working too oh, late. That's, that's the reason. Uh, so please, uh, when this happens, uh, text me so I know what's happening, OK? OK, thank you. And if it's because of work, Si es por el trabajo, eh, siempre conéctense para que no pierdan la, la asistencia. Si es por situaciones de trabajo, ¿verdad? Porque es comprensible, ¿ok? Ok. Please, para que no vayan perdiendo ahí la asistencia. All right. Okay. Hi, Claudia. Hi, teacher. How are you? How are you? How are you? Yes. I'm okay. And you? Good night. Todo bien. Ah, okay, everything, you can say everything is okay. Todo está everything. bien, everything okay. is okay. It's okay. Uh, okay. Everything is, is okay. okay. Yeah, everything yeah. is okay. Oh, nice, yeah. good. Okay, so um, it's eight. Okay, uh, I am going to pass the attendance in two minutes. All right, le voy a pasar asistencia en dos minutos, in two minutes. And then we start uh, because for today, uh, we have a lot of work, okay? We have many activities for today. So we need to start early, okay? Uh, just before I forget, uh, Blanca is connected? Yes, no, not yes. yet. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, Blanca, uh, don't forget, today you have the one-on-one -on -one session, okay? No olvides que tienes la sesión uno a uno este día, okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. So from 10 to 10.10. 10. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, let me see. I see more people connected. Yeah. Hi, Salma, Vanessa, Gilmar. Hi. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? Very good. Oh, nice. Gilmar, how are I'm you? Fine. Oh, nice. Um, Thank you, Salma. So, so, teacher. Oh, so so. <laughs> Good night. Hello, Robinson. Ya presentaron asistencia. Sorry? Ya hicieron asistencia, no. No, no, not yet. In one minute. In one minute, I pass it. En este momento voy dirijo, me dirijo hacia mi casa, entonces por si la asistencia listo. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Okay, thank you for informing. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, I, I am going, I said two minutes, right? So it's A2, so I am passing the attendance in this moment. Aida? Aida? Not connected yet. Blanca? Present. Carlos? Present. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. I read your message. Leí tu mensaje. I read your message. Gracias. Okay, Claudia. I am here. Okay, perfect. Ellen Nielsen. Present. Okay, Hermando. Gilmar. Present teacher. Irma. Javier. Jamie. Carla? Present. Jamie. Oh, Jamie. Yes. Jamie en el trabajo? At work? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Carla? Maria? Present. Okay. Mario? Present. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Marvin? 
Rafael. Present teacher. Rafael. Yes, right. Present. Yes, right. bienvenido, Ra bienvenido Rafael. No le vimos ayer, pero bienvenido. Thank you. Just um, tonight I'm working. I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay. I was uh, telling Mario that uh, when you work during the class, let me know and get connected. Okay, let me know and get connected para que no pierdan asistencia. Siempre si es por razones de trabajo, les sugiero que se conecten porque es injusto también, ¿verdad? Si están trabajando, conéctense y están solamente escuchando la clase, ¿ok? Para que no pierdan okay. asistencia, si es por razones de trabajo, ¿ok? If it's okay. because of, of work, ¿ok? Please. Uh, Robinson. Present, teacher. Ok, Salma. Present, teacher. Very good. Santos. Present, teacher. Excellent. Sara. Sara, not connected yet. Wendy? Present, also, teacher. Oh, oh, yeah, she's connected. Liz? Present, Okay, and Vanessa. Vanessa? No audio, Vanessa? Ah, okay, okay. Como que tiene mala conexión. I think you have bad connection. Yeah, yeah, I put the attendance. It's okay, Vanessa. Okay, um, so may maybe just uh, some things to recap. Okay, algunas cosas que recapitular. Some things to recap para los que se conectan este día. En términos generales, ayer se dieron algunas, algunos aspectos eh, importantes del módulo que ustedes ya lo saben, pero es importante como recalcarlos otra vez, ¿verdad? Eh, para los que se están conectando y para los que ya estaban conectados también, por supuesto, es un requisito de parte de Insafor que siempre tengamos la cámara encendida, ¿ok? Así que siempre les voy a pedir ese, ese favor, ¿verdad? A veces vamos llegando del trabajo corriendo, pero son como cinco minutos en lo que nos cambiamos y luego ya debemos encender la cámara porque es requisito de parte de, de Insafor, por supuesto. Así que le voy a pedir de favor que sigamos es, es, esa instrucción, ¿ok? Así que me hacen el favor, do me that favor, please, ¿ok? Y agradecerles por haber escrito su nombre en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿ok? I think only Rafael didn't, didn't write the name and, and Mario, I think, yeah. Ok, uh, pero está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Are you in the WhatsApp group? Mario en en Rafael. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Ah, ok, perfecto. Ok, thank you very much. And, oh, algo que olvidé ayer. Hay una parte de writing and discussion que se sube una pregunta generadora casi, bueno, todos los días, dependiendo del contenido, ¿verdad? Y en este caso está en la plataforma. De igual manera, esto no es evaluado, pero es importante que ustedes vayan y escriban y respondan una pregunta o puede ser alguna instrucción para hacer algún escrito de unas dos o tres líneas para que vayan practicando su escritura, ¿ok? Esto es en la plataforma, en la parte donde dice discusión, así les aparece en el, en el menú y ahí les aparecen las preguntas ordenadas por, por tema o por, más bien por, sí, por sección, digamos, eh, o por día, más bien por día, día uno, y les va a aparecer una pregunta. Ahorita no la he subido porque quería explicarles primero, ¿ok? Luego día 2 y les va a aparecer una pregunta generadora o una instrucción para escribir. No es algo largo que van a escribir, tal vez unas dos, tres líneas, ¿ok? Eso es diariamente. Repito, no es evaluado, pero sí es importante para que ustedes practiquen su, su escritura, ¿ok? Eso es aparte de las tareas que llevan semana, este, diariamente. Así que... También para los que recién se conectan, eh, como eh, ayer iniciamos eh, módulo, el día lunes tendrían que estar entregando antes de la medianoche las tareas de la, de la segunda, de, perdón, de la primera semana, ¿ok? Que sería la sección 1 o unidad 1, ¿ok? Así que para que lo, lo, lo tomemos en cuenta, en el caso de, de Mario, eh, la sesión 1 a 1 le toca el día 13, ¿ok? Ayer empezamos con día 1, día 13, y en el caso de Rafael le corresponde el día 15, ¿ok? Y de ahí lo, lo, ayer le di a algunos que el día de ayer le tocó, bueno, estuvo ahí en la sesión 1 a 1, el día de, de hoy le toca a Blanca, mañana estará Carlos y el viernes tendremos a Claudia, ¿ok? La siguiente semana, el lunes tendremos a Ellen Nilsson, martes a Armando, miércoles a Gilmar jueves a Irma y viernes a 
Javier. Eso es para la siguiente semana, ¿ok? Si tienen dudas, ahí me preguntan luego, ¿verdad? Pa por si no recuerdan el día, porque a veces se nos olvida, ¿ok? So, um, thank you very much for uh, connecting today. I don't know if you have uh, any question before we start. Do you have any question before we start? ¿Alguna pregunta que tengan antes de iniciar la clase? Any question you might have? Vanessa? No. No, right? No. Ah, okay, okay. I could see your... Okay, uh, you were like about to speak. No questions then? Mario? Rafael? Everything okay? Everything okay. Okay, Everything very good. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, so let's begin with uh, today's class. All right, uh, and for today's class, we have uh, a conversation, okay? So we are going to practice a conversation quickly, okay? Like two or three minutes, because we started this conversation yesterday, okay? Uh, so let me show you the conversation. I remember uh, yesterday, you answer some questions about this conversation, right? About Sofia and Mario. Do you remember? You answer uh, questions about Mario's activities and Sofia's activities, right? At the end. But uh, today uh, we are going to practice the conversation, okay? So please, in this moment, listen carefully to the pronunciation of the conversation. So listen carefully, okay? I, I am going to pronounce the conversation twice. Te la voy a pronunciar dos veces. So please listen carefully and pay attention. Okay, let's begin with Sofia. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it once or twice a day. Great. It is very important. Listen again, please. Listen again and pay attention to pronunciation. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. Actually, I check it once or twice a day. Great. It is very important. Now listen. Uh, this time, I will, rep I will pronounce one more time. So please, listen, listen, and repeat but repeat with the microphone off. Vamos a repetir con el micrófono apagado para que no haya interferencia, okay? Yeah, but I want to see you repeating. I want to see you repeating, please, okay? Quiero verlos repitiendo. Moving your mouth, like, for example. Okay, so I want to see you moving your mouth, repeating, please, all right? So let's repeat. What do you do every Monday morning? Déjenme maximizar un poquito para verlos a todos acá que están moviendo la boquita. <laughs> ok, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Oh my goodness. Yeah, now I have a better view. Ok, let's continue. I check my email. And I call clients for the rest of the morning. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. Organize. Organize. Okay, let's continue. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. 
actually, actually, I check it once or twice a day. Once, once, twice, twice. Great, it is very important. Okay, now listen again quickly. Um, just listen, if you want to repeat, repeat. But listen again, just to confirm uh, the pronunciation, okay? And to internalize the pronunciation. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it once or twice a day. Great, it is very important. Okay, uh, this conversation is on page number nine. Okay, so the conversation is on page number nine. Okay, so listen, I am going to give you two or three minutes. So take two or three minutes and in pairs, practice the conversation. Just practice the conversation, okay? But don't say, I finished. No digan, ah, ya terminamos. No, just practice, practice, and practice hasta que lo saque de la, hasta, hasta, hasta que lo saque de la sesión de grupo, okay? Don't say, ya practicamos una vez. It's enough, es suficiente. No, repeat, 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 and repeat, and continue repeating. English is about repetition, okay? to internalize. So, in pairs, page number nine, practice the conversation. Todos tienen el material, ¿verdad? Al menos en digital, todos lo tienen? Yes? Yes, okay. So we are going to practice the conversation in pairs, okay? Two or three minutes. Hasta que lo saque de la sesión de grupos, ustedes practican, all right? So let me see, I have um, 10, 13, 14 people connected. So we are going to make seven groups, all right? No olviden aceptar siempre cuando les aparezca la notificación para entrar al, a la sesión de grupos o, o a breakout rooms, okay? Okay, let's go and practice. Page number nine. Déjeme que, que, que la busque. Porque lo que pasa es que estoy en el teléfono. Pero lo intentaré. Es más, si usted tiene la conversación, usted puede compartirla con él en compartir pantalla. Uh -huh. Es que no lo puede hacer de mi teléfono, no puedo, Ticho. Ah, entiendo. Ok, it's ok. Creo que los dos estamos mal, como los dos estamos del teléfono. Ok. Espérate. Pero. Espérate. Eh, sí me se escuchas. ¿Ande? Ah, ok. Entonces ya lo tengo. Ah. Eh, ve a tu, a tu WhatsApp entonces y, y, y busca la conversación porque yo ya la tengo. Ah, sí, sí. Pero, pero. I check my... Ay, se me bloqueó, esperen. I check my email. And I, and I call friends for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read it um, 
we explain report and estimate. I actually have the organize a mailing every two Monday. How often do you check? Do you email? Do you, do you check it every day? Yes, I do. Actually, I check it once or twice a day. A day. Great. It's a very important. Vaya, al revés. <laughs> okay, me llega. <laughs> eh, um, what do you do every Monday morning? I'm checking, I'm checking my email is called the clip of the, the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually check arms or tweets a day. Great, it's very important. Right, it's very important. Hey, me llega. <laughs> me gusta, me gusta su acento. <laughs> Voy al otro, al otro lado, al otro lado. Vaya, vaya. Se las comparto en el grupo de WhatsApp. Please. Okay. Hello, hello. ¿Todos están usando teléfono o hay alguien que esté usando laptop? Teléfono, ticho. A los tres, ok. Sí, porque alguien está usando laptop, les puede compartir pantalla a los demás. Igual con teléfono se puede, pero sale más pequeño. Puede poner este la conversación para tomar una foto porque yeah. mi material está en mi trabajo. No, 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 y yo, yo salí en la mañana hoy, hoy esta yeah. mañana. Ya, yeah, it's ok. Let me share. Here. Make a screenshot. Pueden hacerle una captura. Make a screenshot. Okay. Hicieron la captura? Did you make the screenshot? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, now you can practice. Thank you, Liz. You're welcome. Okay, Liz, if you want, okay. you and me, and then with Hello, Maria. Hello. Uh, did you practice with Irma? Uh, no, because Irma uh, doesn't have didn't have the the material and I I, I tried to to send and uh, WhatsApp. In okay, all right. Here, ah, here you have Irma. Puede hacerle una I'm captura sorry. de pantalla. Ah, Puede hacerle una captura de pantalla para que lo tenga. She, she's pretty sorry. sorry. The problem is please. internet. Mm -hmm. oh. también con internet. Oh, you I have see. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Just try to make a screenshot. Okay, intente hacer la captura. Make a screenshot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Okay. Now you can practice. Okay. Eh, perdón. 
Se me... O sea, ¿qué tan a menudo es? Uh -huh. How do you, how do you, ¿dónde está? How, how often do you check your email? Your email. Emi, email, ah, es email. Email, email, ah. es correo electrónico. ¿no? Yes. Entonces, ahí normalmente la, la T no suena. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es, es casi como often. Ajá, often. ¿Y every day? Check? Eso sí está bien. Every, every day. Every day. Every, every day, ajá, every day. Uh -huh. Every day. Every day. Every day. Uh, day. Dice, yes, I do. Actually, sí, yes. Actually, I do. No, actually. Es, esa, esa, T, esa T suena como che, como nuestra che. Ajá. Actually. actually. Ajá. Actually. actually, yes, I yes. do actually. Ah, yes, I do actually. I check uh -huh. it. it Vaya, ahí <laughs> en ese caso, ahí en ese caso, mm -hmm. el check es y, la, y el it es lo chequeo mm -hmm. o lo reviso. Mm -hmm. Entonces ahí es, 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 es se une check it. Uh, I check it. Ajá. Uh, uh, once. I, once. I check once. Or once or one. twice. Twice. Ah. Check Entonces sería. Once. Yes, I do actually. I check it once or twice a day. O sea, ahí sería. Okay. Sí, lo, de hecho, esa, esa sería la, la interpretación. Sí, de hecho, lo reviso una o dos veces al día. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Así oh. sería la. Pero solo esa, esas palabritas nada más. Sí. Y ahí nos vamos, y eso, y eso lo hace la pronunciación más fácil. Sí, cabal. Y se, no. se hace más fluido. Y se hace bueno, más creo fluido. Que, ajá, eh, nos está sacando del, del grupo. Sí, you, have, you, have, you have time. Tienen todavía 23 segundos. 20, you have 23, 23 segundos. segundos. Yes. Ah, bueno, va. Entonces, démosle uno, entonces. We have a teacher with us. Hello. <risa> 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 ah, ok. Ah, Sofía. Sofía, ok. Uh, Mario, uh, uh, what do you do every Monday morning? Okay, uh, well, uh, thank you very much for uh, practicing. All right, thank you very much. Um, just uh, remember uh, the, the idea of uh, the idea of working in pairs or in groups is uh, for you to help each other and to listen to your classmates and to practice, okay? So I, 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 I visited uh, some, some pairs or some groups and some people had difficulty, okay, to, to, to practice. So I remember the idea is to practice when you are in pairs or in groups, okay? And to practice English, yeah? Basically, you have the instruction. The instruction is practice the conversation, okay? And the, that, that's the instruction. So uh, the idea is to practice the conversation. But it's okay if you are helping your classmates, okay? Está bien si están ayudando a su compañero con la pronunciación y con la interpretación. That's okay, okay? That's the idea too. También es la idea, esa es la idea, okay? Of working in pairs or in groups, okay? So uh, we are going to uh, listen to two pairs, okay? I am going to choose this time. So uh, I am going to select one pair. Let me see. Uh, Hilmar, uh, who was your pair? Con quien practicaste? Who was your pair? The microphone, Hilmar. The microphone is off. Turn on the microphone. Uh, teacher, no, I remember. You don't remember. Who practiced <laughs> with Hilmar? ¿Quién practicó con Hilmar? Who practiced with Hilmar? <laughs> Please. Hi, teacher. Yo. Okay, Blanca. Blanca, right? So, Blanca and Hilmar. Uh, can you please yes. uh, perform the conversation? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, All right. Okay. So. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and he's called the clipboard 
read all the morning. What about you? I have to read. I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meeting every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually the check uh, it on or the tweets on the day. Great, it is very important. It is very important. Okay, yes. thank you very much, Blanca and Hilmar. Okay, so we give the reactions in a moment, okay? So wait, okay. now let's listen uh, to another uh, pair. So let's listen uh, to, let me see, Vanessa. Okay, Vanessa, uh, who was your pair? ¿Quién era su pareja? Who was your pair? Me practiqué con Robinson y con Wendy. Oh, okay, so select one. Either Robinson or Wendy. Make a decision. Robinson or Wendy? Uh, Robinson. Robinson. Okay, now please practice with Robinson and let's listen. Okay. What do you do every Monday morning? He checked me a email and called client for the rest of morning. What do you do? What do you I have to read a weekly report and often a meeting. I also have to organize meeting every two Monday. How often do you check your MA? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do a clean a check in on Tuesday. Great, it is very important. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Vanessa and Robinson. Thank you for your uh, participation. I said two pairs, right? So thank you very much. I know everybody practice, okay? And I could see, okay? But not everybody can participate here, okay? Uh, in the main session, okay? So thank you very much. Now, please, everybody, go to reactions and say congratulations with a reaction. Vayan a reacciones y felicitan a sus compañeros con el emoji que ustedes quieran, okay? This time I will give them a heart. Esta vez yo les voy a dar un corazón. I will give them a heart for their participations, okay? You can give a like, you can give a wow, right? So just give an emoji. Give them an emoji. Te vamos a dar un emoji para felicitarlos, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, so thank you for your um, participations. Okay, um, now we have some vocabulary, okay? And in this vocabulary, uh, we have some, let's call them uh, daily activities, okay? And these daily activities are on page number 10, okay? For example, uh, we have checked my email, all right? So it's basically some activities on Mondays, okay? And we have checked my email, type a letter, write a report, attend a meeting, call clients, read a report, visit clients, and organize meetings, okay? Now, again, let's pronounce the vocabulary, okay? But please do it with the microphone off. Vamos a repetir, pero con el micrófono apagado siempre, okay? So let's repeat. Check my email. Check my email, type a letter, type a letter, write a report, write a report, attend a meeting, attend a meeting, call clients, call clients, Read a report. Read a report. Visit clients. Visit clients. Organize meetings. Organize meetings. Okay, thank you. Now, now let's check the meaning of the vocabulary, okay? Uh, check my email is easy, right? It's like 
check my email is like revisar el correo, okay? What is type a letter? ¿Qué es type a letter? Anyone? Alguien? Type a letter. Escribir una carta. Escribir carta. Una carta. Okay, that's right. Escribir una carta o digitar, okay? Porque en este caso el término ah, type, type, uh, type yes. se usa para digitar en la computadora, okay? Para es okay. escribir pero en la computadora. Type a letter or on your cell phone maybe, okay? Or on a tablet, okay? Type, yeah? In write here, write, esto sí es escribir, okay? Write a report, okay? Write a report right. is easy, right? Escribir un reporte, write a report. Atena meeting? Mm -hmm. Write a report. What is Atena meeting? Asistir a una reunión. Exactly, asistir a una reunión. Atena a meeting, asistir a una reunión. Uh, call clients? What is call clients? Llamar a Llam clientes. Llamar a los clientes. Call clients, that's right. Um, we have, here we have write a report. And here we have read a report. What is read a report? Leer un report. Leer, leer un report, read a report. This is easy, right? Visit clients, okay? Visitar clientes. And finally, organize, organize meetings, okay? And what is organize meetings? Organizar una reunión. Okay, very good. Now, listen, uh, this vocabulary is on page number 10. Si no tienen el material, háganle una captura en este momento para que no tengan dificultad y lo tengan ustedes, ¿ok? Así que le pueden hacer una captura de pantalla al vocabulario por si no tienen el material en este momento. Because we are going to practice the vocabulary. Ok. Great. Okay. Yes, very good. Now listen, we are going to make it simple, ¿ok? Uh, the idea is to manage or to internalize this vocabulary, ¿ok? For this, we are going to do one activity. Listen, in pairs or in groups, take turns. Imagine I practice with Ellen Nielsen. Imagine, use your imagination. I say the word, I say the phrase in English and Ellen Nielsen says the phrase in Spanish, okay? For example, okay, let's do one example, Ellen Nielsen. Share my email. I, I repeat the same the, the same phrase? No, no. You tell me uh, the phrase in Spanish. And I say it in English oh. and you say it in Spanish. Okay? Okay, so okay. So let, let's, let's do it again. Check my okay, email. Okay, perfect. Revisar mi correo. Now you tell me number two. Type a letter. Digitar o escribir una carta. Write a report. Escribir un reporte. Now Attend you tell a me. meeting. Asistir a una reunión. Call clients. Llamar clientes. Read a report. Leer un reporte. Visit clients. Visitar clientes. Okay. Organize meetings. Organizar reuniones. Now you start. Okay. Check my email. Revisar mi correo. Type a letter. Digitar una carta. Okay, excellent. So the idea is to practice by doing this. La idea es practicar haciéndolo de esta manera. Okay, is it clear? Yes, so you take turns, toman turnos, take turns. So we are going to practice in pairs or in groups, okay? The vocabulary is on page number 10. Is the instruction clear? Está clara la instrucción? Is the instruction clear? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I will give you yes. again two or three minutes, okay? No digan ya terminé. Repitan, repitan, repitan y repitan, okay? Repetition is important in English, okay? So let's go and practice again. You are going to go with the same pairs, okay? Vamos a ir con las mismas parejas. You are going to go with the same pairs, okay? Or with the same groups, con los mismos grupos, with the same groups. Okay, let's go.
<risa> Tell me, Carlos. No, este, lo que pasa es que cuando le, 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 le pedí ayuda, pues estaba solo. Creo ah. que la compañera con la que estaba se, había, se salió, no sé, pero ya, igual ya tengo otra compañera. Ah, ok, Gracias. pero Jamie sí está ahí. Hello, Jamie. Sí, 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 ahí está. Hello. Ah, ok, perfect. Ok. It's ok. Ok. <coughs> Hola, Melanie. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo sigo? Acá, más o menos. Oh. Es, pero se sí, siente bien para continuar, o sea, no se agita mucho. Uh, más o menos. Si quieren, que... si quieren, les envío a alguien más para que descanse un poquito. Sí, pero es que, ajá, es que mi compañero se siente como un poquito yeah. agitado. It's okay, no problem. Let me send somebody else. Le voy a enviar a alguien más de aquí de un equipo de tres. Ok. Thanks. Ok. Pero si quiere, practiquemos dos que tres. Okay. Eh, voy a iniciar ya. Bueno. Eh, bueno, como voy como en, en manejando, tenemos que repetir lo que el teacher estaba diciendo, ¿verdad? Lo del número cuatro. Practicarlo, sí. ¿verdad? I'm sorry. Le quité a Mario. I'm sorry. Pero sí. es, había alguien que estaba solo y ustedes eran tres. So you can practice ah. together, ¿ok? Ok, no hay okay. problema. Ok. Sí. Revisar mi correo. Type a letter. Escribir una carta o... O digitar una carta. Digitar una carta. Ok. Why a report? Escribir un reporte. Vamos uno y uno, ¿sí? ¿Te parece? Yeah. a meeting. Mm. Ir a una, a un, a una reunión. At Call a client, uh -huh. a client. Llamar a clientes. Read a report. Escribir un reporte. This, leer this, sería allí. Le, I'm sorry, leer un reporte. Visit the client. Uh -huh. Visitar clientes. Organize meetings. Organizar un, una reunión. Ok. Check my email. Eh, chequear mi, mi correo. Okay. Check a letter. Digitar una carta. Write a report. Escribir un reporte. Attend a meeting. Asistir a una reunión. Call clients. Hablarle a un cliente. Correcto. Eh, eh, visit clients. Clients or clients. Robinson. Clients. Hello. Clients, clients. or clients. Corrijan. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me. What, is, what do you think is correct? Clients or clients? Clients. Yes, clients is correct. Clients. Okay, so it's clients. Clients. Yeah. Sí. Bueno, yeah. Gracias. <laughs> okay, no problem. Continue. Uh, organize meet you. Wendy se fue. Tiene apagado el micrófono, Wendy. Wendy, the microphone, Wendy. Ok, entonces. Wendy, te aburrió con mi traducción. <ríe> con mi pronunciación. Bueno, entonces si algo. Eh, me corrige, teacher, porque, por ejemplo, clear mi email está correcto. 
Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. It's check my email. Check my email. Check my email. Exactly. Pero, por ejemplo, yo he escuchado que set es como algo también, o es una palabra semejante que es como algo, una mala expresión, ¿cierto? No, no, but that's different. Pero no, es, this, this is, es check, 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 check. Con K, ah, ¿cierto? Check. Con K al final, check. Check, check, check. Lo se me conecta yeah. el internet. <laughs> yeah, it's Está check my... Favor, pero... <laughs> check, check, check my email. email. Yes. Con T sí es otra cosa, ¿ok? Eso, eso sí es otra cosa. Sí, porque es que... Sabes... Yeah. yeah, I get your point. It's ok. Eh... Ok, continue. ¿Está ahí a leer? A letter. Letter. You can say letter, letter. or letter. It's ok. Letter. But you better say letter. 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 No, letter. 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 Type a letter. Mm -hmm. Type a letter. Exactly. Read a report. Escribir un reporte. Asistir a reunión. Color clear. Llamar clientes. Read a report. Leer un reporte. Eh, visit eh, clients. Visitar clientes. Eh, organize meeting. Organizar reuniones. Yes. <ríe> bueno. <ríe> <laughs> ok. Que algo me pre bueno, pregunté si me manejo. Check my email. Eh, revisar el correo. Type a letter. Redactar una carta o escribir una carta. Write a report. Mm. Escribir un Okay, everyone. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, now, I think everybody manages the vocabulary, okay? So these are like activities at work, okay? Uh, what you practice are activities at work, okay? Normal activities in your, in your workplace, okay? Now, listen, uh, using the vocabulary, uh, you... Uh, help me, please. Okay, I need your help. Okay, so uh, using the vocabulary, we need to complete uh, these sentences on activity five, page number 10. Okay, for example, in number one, I can complete this sentence using call clients. All right, and call clients, it's right here. So the sentence is I call clients every day, I use the company's phone. Okay. So I give you a minute to think. Le voy a dar un minuto para pensar. No me digan la respuesta. Don't tell me the answers, okay? Solo para pensar qué frase completa mejor cada oración, okay? So take a minute and think. Tomen un minuto y piensen. Take a minute and think.
Okay, uh, let's try to complete. Uh, in some cases, maybe uh, more than one answer is possible, right? Okay, so uh, let's try to complete. Obviously, number one is I call clients every day. I use the company's phone, okay? Let's check number two. Our secretary, what do you think is correct here? Type a letter. Types, okay? But we are going types. to modify, okay? Maybe we can say uh, types letters, okay? Our secretary types, types, types letters. A report. Okay. Or, or writes a report, could be, right? Okay? So, uh, mm -hmm. so we are going to say types, okay? Types letters, okay, for number two. Our secretary types letters, then she sends them via email, or you can say writes reports too, okay? It's possible too. Okay, let's see number three. Bring a check. I check my emails. Okay, it can be checked, right? Okay, I check my email twice a day. I use my laptop. Okay computer yeah you can say i check my email it's okay so for it's number okay. um for number three we are going to check check my, my email then for number three right for number uh, three check my email okay i check my email twice a day i use my laptop computer good number four what can we say in number four i have to be crying every monday at a yeah, it's okay. I have to visit uh, clients every Monday at 8. Any other option? Uh, maybe organize. Um, I organize. Organize. Meeting. Organize meetings. Yeah. Uh, organize. 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 Mm -hmm. organize. You can say organize or, or even you can say attend maybe, okay? But uh, okay. in this case, we are going to say uh, visit uh, clients, right? You said, okay? Visit clients. Uh -huh. Visit clients, okay. maybe. All right? Visit clients or, or call clients even, okay? Or call clients. Good. Let's see number uh, five. What can we put in number five? I attend a meeting. Attend, exactly. Attend I attend a meeting, a meeting. or meetings. Because no it's meeting. plural, it says meetings, right? Okay. okay. Uh, attend. I am going to. Uh, we are going to say. Vamos a decir. Attend. Attends. Attends, right? Attends. Attends. Meetings, because it's in plural. Okay. So mm -hmm. Celia, Celia attends meetings. The meetings take place in the auditorium for number auditorium. five. Okay. In the auditorium, and here you can put the the one we didn't use. Aquí podemos poner una extra. Okay, but that's optional. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Now, last activity before I pass the attendance. Última actividad antes de pasar asistencia, okay? Now listen. I imagine everybody has a notebook, right? Imagino que todos tienen una libreta de apuntes. I imagine, okay? Or maybe you yes. are typing on the computer or on your cell phone, I don't know, okay? But the idea for this activity, okay, um, let me get the, the pencil. The idea for this activity is that you write what you do on a regular workday, or that you write activities you do on a regular workday. Que hacen un día regular de trabajo, okay? You can say, for example, I check my email, mm -hmm. or you can say, I type reports, I visit clients. I have meetings, for example, or I attend meetings. Okay, I don't know, all right? So at least write five activities. Al menos escriban cinco actividades que hacen en un día regular de trabajo, okay? okay. Clear? Okay. Yes? All right, yes. so please do it on your notebook. I don't know if you can do it on your notebook, please. At least five activities. But if you want to write more activities, no problem, okay? Si quieren escribir más, no hay problema. But, but at least I need five.
Um, the same, when you finish, uh, please go to reactions and raise your hand, okay? Siempre cuando terminen, por favor, vayan a reacciones y levantan la mano para, para ir viendo quiénes van terminando, okay? Please, do me that favor. If you want, you can say the, the day to be more specific, right? Okay. You can say, for example, um, I share my email on Mondays. You can say, for example, um, I visit clients every day. Okay. You can use expressions, time expressions. But that's optional. Okay. That's optional. It's not an obligation.
Ok, uh, while you are working, I will pass the attendance, ok? Mientras están trabajando, les pasaré asistencia. I will pass the attendance. So please say present, I'm here, or over here, as you wish, ok? Aida? Blanca? Present. Ok, Carlos? Present. Oh, very good, Claudia? Claudia? Ellen Nilsson? Present teacher. Okay. Present. Okay. Ellen Nilsson? Present. Very good. Hermando? Hilmar? Present teacher. Very good. Irma? Present teacher. En la primera no contesté porque me equivoqué de link. Estaba en otra. Oh my goodness. Entonces, por eso, The sí, most important is that you are here in this moment, Irma. Okay? Okay, yes. Carla? Present. Maria? Present. Mario? Present. Marvin? Or oh, Marvin is saying that he couldn't get connected, I think. Uh, Rafael? Present teacher. Very good. Robinson? A present teacher. Excellent. Salma? Present. Good. Santos? Present teacher. Great. Sara? Sara? Wendy? Present teacher. Good. Liz? Liz? Present. Okay, and Vanessa. Present. Okay, okay. Uh, teacher. You. Yes, tell me, Adia. Eh, yo entré un poquito tarde y estoy teniendo problemas con mi internet, entonces eh, no le pude contestar cuando pasó por segunda vez la lista. Ah, okay, it's okay. I already put it here. Ya la puse. I put it here. Ah, okay, thank you. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, uh, well, two more minutes. Two more minutes and we uh, go to practice, okay? Two minutes to finish the activity. Yo sé que algunos terminan rápido. Eh, pero le voy a pedir un poquito de paciencia para que esperemos a los demás, ¿ok? Al menos la mayoría, at least the majority, ¿ok? Please. Uh, Claudia, where are you from? Claudia, hello. Hello, hello, teacher. Where are you from? De donde eres tú? Where are you from? I'm from Mexicano Sacamil. Ah, okay, I see. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, well, I said uh, that um, you needed to complete 
five daily activities, right, in your workplace, okay? If you have three or four, no problem, okay? No problem. If you have three activities, no problem. Four activities, no problem, okay? But in this moment, we are going to, um, we will practice, okay? But listen, uh, to practice, we will use this question, okay? The question we will use is, what, okay? So write this question, please. What do you do, okay? What do you do on a regular, what do you do on a regular basis, all right? What do you do on a regular basis? ¿Qué haces regularmente, okay? What do you do on a regular basis? Okay, so please write this question. Escriban esta pregunta, write this question. What do you do on a regular basis is the pronunciation. What do you do on a regular basis? Ready? What do you do on a regular basis? Okay. Very good. Now listen, um, at this time we are not going to, or we will not practice in pairs, okay? This time we will practice in groups, approximately groups of four, okay? The idea is that you take turns asking the questions, okay? For example, in case I practice with Ellen Nilsson, Robinson and Santos is an example, okay? So first, I asked Ellen Nilsson, okay, Ellen Nilsson, what do you do on a regular basis? And Ellen Nilsson reads the activities. Ya tiene las actividades que va, que me, con las que me va a contestar, okay? He has the activities. And when I finish, Ellen Nilsson asks Robinson. And then Robinson can ask Santos. And Santos can ask me, all right? So the idea is to take turns asking and answering the questions, okay? Clear? Yes? Clear? A little clear? Yes. Or not clear? Yes, clear. Okay, very good. So the idea is to practice and the idea is to use the question, what do you do on a regular basis? What do you do on a regular basis? Okay? Liz, do you have any question? What do you do on, on a regular day. basis? Liz, do you have any question? No. No question. Everything okay. Okay. So, uh, so now we are going to have bigger groups. Vamos a tener grupos más grandes, okay? We are going to have bigger groups. The idea is that everybody practices, okay? Okay, let's go and practice.
it's my document in, in check my email and prepare text. What about you, uh, Mario Cáceres? Hello, how are you? Well, I What do you have... do on a regular? Well, I get up at uh, 4, 4 a.m. I visit market. I read, read and make a report. I check emails. I do jobs interviews. Um, and I, um, I work late. You work what? Late. Late. Too late. Okay. At what time do you finish? Do you work? Mm, at midnight. Okay. What about you, Araceli? What do you do on a regular basis? Um, my regular bracing is... What do you do on a regular basis? What do you do okay. on a regular basis? Uh, in the workday or general? Anyway, it's... Uh, okay. Anyway. Um, workday. I check okay. my email all day. Okay. I all day? Oh. Own, I own the... Uh, it came in for trade tra uh, how do you say tratamiento tra treatment treatment tra treatment 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 Patients. 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 Yeah. Patients. Yeah. Um, I organize, organize informing general for pay, painting. Patients. Mm -hmm. Patients. Uh, I type um, information personal de ev every patient. Okay. Okay. Do you have a a lot of work every day. Okay. Okay, the next one. Uh, Who is the next one? Santos. Claudia. Yes, Salma. Uh, what do you do on the regular basis? Uh, on the work? Yes. Uh, and the word is breakfast at seven sit at seven thirty thirty. Seven thirty. Yes. I drink coffees at the uh, ten p.m. Uh, the best part of the day. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, at the <laughs> uh, lunch at um, 12 o'clock. Okay. Uh, solo. Only that, solo eso, only that. Uh, only that. Uh, yeah, only that. Okay. Ellen Nelson. Yes, sir. What, what do you do on roll? Wendy, Wendy, sorry, sorry. Calladita Wendy. estaba. What do you on a regular basis? Reserve, uh, reserve customer. A call customer uh, said if the production chai head prints. A viewer customer, Jimmy. A chai head customer. Wendy, what you what your work Dime. about? 
Eh, ¿De qué trata tu trabajo? ¿De qué es mi trabajo? Ah, es este, en ventas. Oh. Sales. Pues your, Sales. Um, Sales. ¿Perdón? Sales. Sales, ventas. Sales. 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 Ah. Ok. Uh -huh. Vale. Pues Tenemos de todo un poco acá. Ah. Ok. Irma, Irma, era yes. mi, eh, Irma era mi jefe. Irma. <risa> Irma era mi jefa. Ah. Teacher, uh -huh. eh, one, 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 eh, una pregunta. Yes, tell este, me. Yo, yo quería como escribir que estaba, eh, leía mi, mi reporte para poder realizar mi plan de trabajo, pero yo no sé si lo formulé bien. Yo puse allá en check reading of report. En the play the war, entonces no sé cómo se dice plan. Planear o de trabajo. O... Plan de for trabajo. My... Ah, for my work plan. Work plan. Okay. Work plan. Uh -huh. Work plan. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you, teacher. It's okay, no problem. Work plan. Yeah, work plan. Work plan. Plan. Mm -hmm. Work plan. Bueno, ahora comencemos con Irma otra vez, entonces. No, Wendy, Wendy, no la escuchamos, este, solo una vez, ¿vale? Ah, Dios. bueno. Sí, ahora pregúntale usted a ver. <risa> Wendy, yo eh, ya, ya, ya nos llama el teacher. Mal. Sí, este, la pregunta no la copié. <risa> oh, eh, eh, la pregunta es, what do you do? Perdón, what do you what do, you do, do on a regular do do do, uh, regular? Um, what do you do, do regular? Regular. Uh, Hilmar. Hilmar es. Yes. Uh -huh. Ah. Eh, quedan 14 segundos, pero yo decía Android and drive the car, the company. Filmar, Filmar, hola, Filmar, hi, okay, ah, uh, well, thank you very much. Can you hear me? Se escucha? Can you hear me? Yes. yes, teacher. Teacher. In the group, we have a, a down about a doubt yeah. about uh, how do you say factura? You can say invoice, bill, or voucher. It depends. Um, what mm. type of factura? <laughs> For example, in my work, I, um, I I work uh, like a saleswoman mm -hmm. and uh, I do order for the person who type the invoice. Yes, you can say invoice in this case. Oh, invoice. Okay. Invoice. Yeah, invoice. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. You can even say receipt. Receipt is like receipt, like ah, when they pay receipt. you something. Uh -huh. It's possible too, okay, in some cases, okay? And bills. Uh, but, uh, Bills but are this... the the bills are the 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 papers that come to your house. Okay, like the electricity mm, bill, for example, okay. the telephone for bill service. Uh, for services. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's the difference. Mm -hmm. okay? okay, okay. But for uh, for business, you say invoice or receipt. That is recibo. Okay, invoice or receipt. Uh huh. But okay. receipt is recibo. Okay, receipt. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, yes. Okay, uh, so thank you very much for uh, practicing. Now I need three volunteers. I need three volunteers. Okay, Maria is raising hands. Okay, Maria is one volunteer. Aida and one more, one more volunteer. I have Maria and Aida. Okay, I have uh, Gwendy. Okay, let's give the chance to Santos. To have a boy, para tener un chico también. Okay, thank you, <laughs> thank you very much, Gwen. Okay, let's listen to uh, Maria first. What activities do you do on a regular basis? 
Okay, in a regular basis, I, um, I arrive to my office at uh, seven and a half. And the first thing that I do is check my emails and answer the emails of the clients. And I do the order for the person that, pay, that type the invoices and after that I organize uh, my uh, schedule to visit clients in all the day and before to go out I type uh, I prepare quotes quotes to the claim that I going to to visit Okay, perfect. Uh, mm -hmm. So okay. Uh, thank you very much, Maria. Uh, you say mm -hmm. uh, organizes or organizes? What is correct? Organize. Organizes, all right? Organize, yes. I organize. Uh, it's difficult, this, this I word for me. Yeah, it's organize. organize. Organize, it's about practice, okay? Not okay. only for Maria, for, for everybody, okay? The pronunciation okay. is organize. organize, for everybody, okay? For everybody, Okay. organize. Okay, thank you, Maria. Yeah, and, and quotes, uh, así es. Quotes, uh, como cotización. Mm. Quotes. Um, this is new for me. Let me check in a moment and I will tell you, okay? Let me check. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, by now, let's listen to Wendy. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, sir, with quest question, Mayor. Uh, okay. A call question mark uh, so if the product chai chai have brains a pure question mark Jimmy a chai her question mark okay thank you very much Wendy thank you for your uh, participation I appreciate it and now let's listen to the last one Santos okay Santos what do you do on a regular basis I I shower I shower uh, five I am okay I I check my my email uh, seven seven I am yeah I I check my car I I eat uh, I go to work at seven. Seven. Seven I am. Okay. I deliver. I report with my boss. I call my family at at uh, two PM. Uh, in, on afternoon I got I go my home. Okay, I very go good. Home. I go home. I go, home. I go yeah. home. Okay, thank you very much, Santos. Uh so thank you for your uh, participations, Maria, Wendy, and Santos, all right? So Aida wanted to participate too, I think. Aida, do you want to? Hello? Okay, okay teacher. Okay, okay, Aida, what do you do on a regular basis? Um, I take the bus in the morning. Yeah. Come to my work. Uh, I turn on my laptop. Check my email, check the client list, and organize client documents, and I make tax payments. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Aida. Thank you. All right, uh, you. now please everybody go to reactions and let's give them an emoji all right let's give them an emoji saying congratulations okay these times i am giving some confetti <laughs> okay thank you very much for your um participation okay for volunteering um maria i was checking uh what you want to say is como un estimado right una cotización como un estimado algo así kind of like that maria hello uh, yes i um I do a uh, cotización o, o como dar información previa a una venta. 
Ok, es como, ajá, yeah, I got it, ok. Entonces no sería un, est es como un estimado, es casi lo mismo. O sí. es diferente. Porque si es un estimado, mejor dir diríamos directamente a, a estimate. Mm, ok. An estimate. Ajá, y luego el, la, la palabra es a quote. Uh, the, the pronunciation for this one, let me check, is a uh, quote. Ok. Quote. What? If you want what? to use this one, si quieres usar esa, ok? So, ok, what? Okay. What? What or estimate? I would say estimate. Yo diría estimate. It's more what? common in business, ok? Estimate. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you estimate. very much. Yeah, ok. Uh, very good. So it's 9.30 already and I have two questions, ok? But this time we are not going to work in groups for these two questions. I am going to ask the questions like in general, ok? Sorry, I am going to ask the questions in general. So I will give you two minutes to think about the answer. But this time only think. Okay? And then I will select some, uh, some of you to answer the questions. Okay? I have two questions. Let me show you. Uh, question number... Um, these questions are about secretaries. Okay? So uh, question number one is... Are there secretaries in your workplace? Okay, are there secretaries in your workplace? Hay secretarias en tu lugar de trabajo? Okay, don't answer to me now. You can say yes or no, right? Okay, yes, there are or no, there aren't. You can say or yes or no. What activities do they do? They, the secretaries, okay? For example, you can say uh, they type letters, they check email, they, tie, they write reports, I don't know, okay? So two questions, are there secretaries in your workplace? Yes or no? And what activities do they do? In the answer, they check email, they type reports, they call clients, they answer the phone, I don't know, okay? So I give you two minutes. In two minutes, think about the answer. Y luego así aleatoriamente voy a escoger algunos para que me respondan las preguntas, okay? All right, go ahead. Take a moment and answer the two questions. You can write one or two activities, okay? One or two activities. Secretaries do. Uh, in question number one, just say yes or no, all right? Are there secretaries in your, workplace? in your workplace? Yes, no, all right? If you say yes, what activities do they do? One or two activities, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. 
Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes, yes teacher. Excellent. Okay, uh, two questions, right? So question number one is, are there secretaries in your workplace? And question number two, what do they do? The secretaries, okay? In question number two, one or two activities, no problem, okay? For example, if you ask me, Bernardo, are there secretaries in your workplace? And I say, yes, what do they do? Ah, I can say they, um, they attend calls or they, receive calls for example they write reports i don't know okay very good so uh, they receive calls or they attend calls you can or they answer the phone you can say more easily okay they answer the phone okay contestan el teléfono they answer the phone very good uh let's begin uh let me see maria isabel uh can you give me a number from one to ten please huh um, number from one to ten. Seven. Seven. Okay. I will do it randomly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rafael, you are number seven on my screen. Okay. <laughs> okay. He, he, he wants want to answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No problem. Okay, Rafael. Uh, okay. So, uh, question number one: Are there secretaries in your workplace? Yes, there are. Okay, what activities do they do? Uh, the secretary organizes a meeting. Okay, they organize meetings. Only Monday, only Monday. Okay. Only one activity? Um, the secretary called the plane. Okay, perfect. Um, Liz. Okay. Ah, you, you want Liz to participate? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't say give me a number, Liz. I'm sorry. Okay. He wants to listen to you participating. Okay. So, um, Rafael, ask Liz the questions. Okay. Usted le hace las preguntas a Liz, Rafael. Are there secretary in your workplace? Yes, there are. Please, are there secretary in the in your workplace? Yes, there are. What activity do you do? Do they do? She checks her email and she types reports. Okay, okay, thank you, hey. thank you. Okay, Liz, uh, can you select uh, a classmate, please, and ask um, the questions? Okay, Vanessa. Okay, ask Vanessa the questions. <laughs> okay, Vanessa. Okay. Are there secretary in your workplace? Yes, there, there are. Okay, what activities do they do? She called clean client, they uh, parler and I think visit. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. All right, uh, Vanessa, can you select a classmate, please? A boy by preference, a boy, please. All right. Okay. Um, can we... We have Santos. Santos Robinson. Okay, ask Santos the questions. Uh, Santos, are there secretary in your workplace? Yes, they are. What activities do you do? They do. She read a report. She uh, organization meeting. Organize, organize, mail. Okay, thank you very much. Santos, can you select a lady, please? Uh, 
Rafael. Okay. Ah, no, a lady. A lady, no, not a boy. A lady. Ah, uh, no, sorry, sorry. It's okay. Okay. What? A lady, una chica, a lady. Select a lady. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh, Claudia. Okay. Yes, teacher. Ask, ask Claudia the question. Yes. Claudia. Uh, uh, they, they are, they are secretary in your home, in sí. your work. Sorry. No, yes. no, te, no, no, te, no, 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 In your workplace. In your working. They yes. are secretary in your working? Yes. Uh, what activity uh, do they do? Uh, they make reports to the boss. They answer uh, coins. Um, all that. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Santos and Claudia, and the ones who participated, okay? So please, everybody, again, go to reactions and give participants a reaction, okay? I will give them a wow, right? Yo le voy a dar un wow. So uh, now you go to reactions and give them a, a reaction, all right? Saying congratulations, saying good job, good work. Okay, okay, very good. Um, okay. Now, listen, we are going to, to do something that is not very common, okay? Uh, I am going to ask some people to be teachers, okay? I am going to ask uh, some people to be teachers, yeah? But I need to listen to you first. Okay, let me see. Ellen Nielsen, uh, can you please, um, okay, let me show you here. Ellen Nielsen, can you please pronounce this conversation, Ellen Nielsen? And we listen, please. The others listen to Ellen Nielsen. Okay. Hold the conversation or? Yeah, hold the conversation. And the okay. others listen. And the others listen. Okay. What does Dominique do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point well. She types reports and sends emails every day. She's a hand worker, hand working woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Maria, Maria, can you pronounce the conversation, please? And we listen to Maria, okay? Okay. Uh, what does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your poems. Well, she types reports and send, and send emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay. Thank you very much, Maria. Now we are going uh, to listen. How Sorry? do you pronounce absolutely? Ab absolutely. 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 Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Now, please, everybody, let's listen to Liz. Liz, can you pronounce the conversation, please? Okay. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much. 
Now let's listen to um, Blanca, okay? Blanca, can you pronounce the conversation, please? And the others listen. Blanca, are you there? Yes, teacher. Sorry. Okay. Es que no escucho bien. Okay. Let me see. Can you pronounce the conversation, please? Yes. What does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, thank you very much, Blanca. Thank you. Okay, now listen. Now listen carefully. This conversation is on page number 11. Okay, this conversation is on page number 11. And listen, listen. Maria, Ellen Nilsson, Liz, and Blanca, they will be the teachers of one group. Ellen Nilsson will be the teacher of one group. Maria will be the teacher of another group. Uh, Liz will be the teacher of another group. And Blanca will be the teacher of another group. What is your job? ¿Cuál es, cuál va a ser su trabajo? What is your job? Your job is that all the group pronounces the conversation in a good way. That is your job. Su trabajo será que todos en el grupo pronuncien bien la conversación, ¿ok? How? I don't know. Make them repeat. And make sure everybody can pronounce the conversation. Y asegúrense que todos pueden pronunciar en el equipo la, la conversación, ¿ok? Clear? María, Ellen Nielsen, Liz, and Blanca? Yes? All right. Yes, teacher. Now listen. For this, we are going to make breakout rooms in a different way. Vamos a hacer la sala de equipos de una forma diferente, ¿ok? Now listen. María, los que mencione con María van a ser el equipo uno. Voy a decir esto en español porque es una explicación un poquito confusa, ¿ok? Los que mencione con Ellen Nielsen van a ser el equipo dos. Y los que mencione con Liz van a ser el equipo 3. Y los que mencione con Blanca van a ser el equipo 4. ¿Ok? Repito. María, equipo 1. Okay. Ellen Nilsson, equipo 2. Liz, equipo 3. Blanca, equipo 4. Ahora bien, voy a elegir quién va a ir con cada equipo. Y en el momento que hagamos las salas, ustedes van a elegir el equipo al que van a ir. Si les digo que van con Ellen Nilsson... Al momento de elegir, van a elegir el equipo 2. Les va a aparecer la opción de elegir equipo, ¿ok? ¿De acuerdo? De acuerdo. De acuerdo. Ok, muy bien. Muy bien. Con María, okay. con María vamos a poner a Claudia. Vamos a dejar a Claudia, que es el equipo 1, y a Santos. ¿Ok? Con María tenemos a Claudia y a Santos. Ya les digo si agrego a alguien más. Eh, con el Nilsson vamos a dejar a Robinson en Irma, ok Robinson en Irma, with Ellen Nielsen ok uh, with Liz con Liz, we are going to leave um, Rafael en Salma ok, Rafael en Salma and let me see here uh, with, um, with Blanca, vamos a dejar a Vanessa y a Carla Vanessa en Carla, ¿ok? Muy bien. Ahora, Gilmar lo vamos a dejar con María. Ok, Gilmar, vas con María también en el equipo 1. Eh, Salma, ya le dijimos. Wendy, ¿va a participar en la actividad? Yes. Les pregunto porque algunos que tienen el, la cámara apagada y quiero asegurarme de que van a trabajar para asignar el equipo. ¿Sí, Wendy? Yes. Ok, uh, Wendy with Ellen Nilsson, con Ellen Nilsson, Team 2, equipo 2, ok. Um, Carlos, no sé si todavía puede trabajar. Yes. 
Yes, okay, Carlos with Liz. Sería con Liz, okay? Um, Jamie? Yes. Yes, con Blanca, Jamie. Aida? Yes. Okay, igual con Blanca, Aida. And Mario? I, I think you are driving, Mario, but... Yes. Yes, okay, sería con Ellen Nilsson. Okay, Mario. ¿A alguien que me haya asignado? A todos, ¿verdad? Repito, group number one, group number one. Grupo uno, Gilmar, María, Claudia, en Santos. Group number two, Wendy, Ellen Nilsson, Robinson, Irma, en Mario. Group number three, Carlos, Liz, Rafael, en Salma. En group number four, Jamie, Blanca, Vanessa, Carla, en Aida. ¿Ok? ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok, muy bien. Les voy a dar alrededor de 10 minutos. Eh, asegúrense que pronuncian bien la conversación, los que van a cargo. Please, the ones who are in charge. Y ahorita les voy a dar grupos a elegir. Ustedes eligen el equipo al que corresponde. Ok, choose the team you belong to. ¿Ok? Teacher, can you put uh, the conversation? Yes. Make a screenshot. Yeah, sure. Okay. Please. Here you have the conversation. You can make a screenshot right now. Thank you. Pueden hacerle una captura, los que no la tienen. You can make a screenshot. The conversation is on page number 11. Okay. Ready? Ready? Yes. Ready. Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, let's go then for groups. Select the group you belong to. Eligen el equipo al que pertenecen, okay? There you go. Okay. okay, select the group. Select the group. ¿Les aparece la notificación? Para elegir grupo? Yes? Yes, right. Okay, so select the group, please. If you are in group number one, select group number one. If you are in group number two, select group number two and so on, okay? Teacher, um, no me aparece. Okay, Maria. No, me, no me Maria, a qué grupo? Uno. Okay. Uh, a quién más no le aparece? Okay. Wells? No me aparece. Alice, a qué grupo, Alice? Será porque nosotros somos los... Lo... No, no. Ah, sí, ya vi. ¿A qué no, grupo, a no Liz? Parece. Ahorita los envío. ¿Qué grupo, Liz? Tres. Free. ¿El Nielsen, which group? Three. Dos. Ok. ¿Aida, which group? Ah, sí, la. Ok. Y luego eh, Sí, me parece vale, sí. Vamos como se va Vaya. Vaya. Y luego me dicen que, que me pasa Vaya What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary Oh, I see What does she do every day? Exactly Oh, I see Your point Well, he types reports And sends emails every day She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
She is the first person to arrive in the office. Bye. Ahora empiece, empieza una de ustedes. Yo la voy a escuchar. Voy a escuchar. Algunas palabras que nos confundamos así. Las voy a anotar y luego se las voy a ir corrigiendo para que las repitamos juntas y la mejoramos. Venga, ¿Quién va a empezar? Yo. Bye. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, mm -hmm. see, I see your point. I see your point. Well, she type report in silk every day. She is a whole working woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Vaya, este, vamos, vamos a repetir unas palabras que escuché, eh, que escuché, vaya, vamos a ver, eh, la primera es report. Report. Report, ajá. Uh -huh. La otra donde, es... donde dice es donde dice donde dice absol, absolute, absolutely 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 o sea quita el tel el, 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 al fin dice eh, si uno lo lee en el español dice absolutely pero en realidad uh -huh. para pronunciarlo quita ese lo lee así absolutely uh -huh. le quita la t y la ah, entonces absolutely, absolutely. ajá también eh, otra sería sense, sense. Al final se tiene que escuchar la S. Sense. Ten. Porque es como en tercera persona, porque habla de ella. Eh, también first, first. 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 Solamente first. eso. No sé si quiere okay. repetirlo otra vez, solamente para corregirlo. O pasa a la siguiente. Que pase la siguiente para que participen los demás, digo yo. Vaya, vaya, está bien. ¿Quién va a pasar ahora? ¿Quién sería ahora? Yo. Vaya. Me escuchamos. Ok. Uh, what does Dominic do? Mm -hmm. Well, she is secretary. Oh, I see. What, the, what does she do every day? Exactly. Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She mm -hmm. is a hardworking mm -hmm. woman. Mm -hmm. As so, Absolute, uh, absolutely. That she's arrived early? Yeah, yeah. She is the fifth person to arrive in the office. Vaya, eh, esa, 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 bien, solamente recordarles, vaya, absolutely, se escribe absolutely, así como se lee ahí. Pero para uno pronunciarlo en inglés, solamente quita la E. Ok, thank you. And the, and the office. Ok, well, we are going to do again with Claudia. Claudia, uh, can you yes. repeat again? Uh, what, what does Dominic do? Wow, she is a secretary. Oh, I see what do she do every day. Exactly. Oh, I see your point. Well, she type report and send email every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does Absolute. she arrive? Absolutely. 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 No, absolutely. She... Actually. 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 Uh, absolutely. 
actually does she write early? Yeah. Does she, she arrive? Arrive. Uh, does she arrive early? Yeah. Uh, she is the first person to write in the office. In the office. Así va. Mm -hmm. Se me ve más yeah. o menos. Eh, mejor, <ríe> mejor ah, bueno. que la anterior. Ah, bueno. este, Thank vaya. <ríe> Thank you. Santos. Santos. Hello. Hello. <ríe> Hello, Santos. Can you repeat again? What, what does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see what does she do every day? Exactly. Oh, oh, see you point where she type report and send email every day. Email. 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 Every she, day. Uh -huh. She is. A hardworking, hardworking woman. Hardworking. Okay. Actually. 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 Don't she arrive? Right. 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 La última e no se pronuncia, solo se pronuncia como la b e. La vidental, que es la que nosotros uh -huh. conocemos como B pequeña en buen salvadoreño, ¿verdad? Que right. solo es con, la, con el labio de abajo. Arrive. Right. Arrive. Uh -huh. Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the Arrive. Office. Arrive. 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 In the office. In the office. Uh, Hilma. Yes, present. Okay. What what the what does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, see you. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see you point. Well, she can report and take Emily every day. Okay, uh, well, uh, Maria, Elenilson, Liz, and Blanca, thank you very much for your guidance. Okay, thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, thank you very much. I decided this because I think it's, it's better because the groups are small, so everybody has the chance to, to pronounce, okay? Decidí hacerlo así porque los grupos, en los grupos más pequeños hay como más oportunidades de pronunciar. We have more opportunities, okay, to, to pronounce, and that, that was the idea, okay? Maybe, sorry, I, I visited some groups and maybe in the word that the majority has problems is absolutely, okay? <clears throat> sorry. Uh, the pronunciation of absolutamente is absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely, okay, absolutely, okay? Uh, very good, okay, uh, so thank you very much. Thank you again. Uh, I will pass the attendance the last time. And then we finish the class, okay, because it's time. And tomorrow we are going to listen to some people pronouncing, okay? Hilmar, do you have any question? No? What, teacher? Do you have any question? Tienes alguna pregunta? No? No. Okay, very good. So let me pass the attendance quickly. Aida? Present. Blanca? Present. Carlos? Present. Claudia? Present. Ellen Nilsson? Present. Hermando? Hilmar? Present teacher. Irma? Present teacher. Okay, Javier? Um, let me see, Jamie? Carla? Present, perdón, teacher. Carla? Present. 
Okay, very good. Maria? Present. Mario? Mario Present. Okay, okay, very good. Marvin? Rafael? Present teacher. Robinson? Present teacher. Salma? Present. Santos? Present. Sara? Wendy? Present teacher. Okay, Liz? Present. And Vanessa? Present. Okay. Okay, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for connecting today. Gracias por conectarse ese día. Um, mañana seguimos con algunas cositas que se nos quedaron porque ayer obviamente no avanzamos por lo, del, lo de los lineamientos y todo eso, ¿verdad? Así que mañana trataremos de, ahora avanzamos bastante, pero mañana trataremos de avanzar un poquito más en la unidad 1 y por favor siempre pedirles eh, que vayan completando las tareas con tiempo. No, lo, no dejen que se les acumule la tarea. Felicito a algunos, son como cinco que ya empezaron a completar sus tareas en la plataforma. Felicidades, no voy a decir nombres, pero sí ya lo pude notar, ¿ok? Así que felicidades a los que, ya están, a los que ya están trabajando y a los que no, pues motivarles a que iniciemos también a, a trabajar, al menos los días que ya empezamos, que son los primeros dos días, ¿verdad? Y si tienen dudas en algún ejercicio, escríbanme con... Sientan esa libertad de escribirme al WhatsApp y yo con gusto les ayudo si, si puedo durante el día, ¿verdad? So, thank you very much for connecting today. Have a good night. Take care and see you tomorrow. See you bye, tomorrow. Take care bye, too. Bye, bye. Bye, Sora Blanca. Se queda. Okay, bye, bye. Bye, Sora Blanca. Se queda. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Take care. Okay, Blanca. It's late. <laughs> so we have 10 minutes, okay? So, hello. Hello. So hello, I don't teacher. know, hello. Uh, well, this session is for you. Esta sesión es para ti. Es para aclarar, obviamente, cualquier, cualquier duda que tengas respecto a, la, a las clases que hemos visto. Y si no tienes dudas respecto a las clases que hemos visto, puede ser algo de lo que tú quieras saber, de un tema específico, o algo que tú quieras pronunciar, no sé. Ok, así que adelante, go ahead. Thank you. Este, en inglés, ¿no? <laughs> It's up to you. It's your decision. Ok. Eh, bueno, en lo personal de lo básico anterior, no me quedaron así dudas. Pero sí, probablemente lo que se pueda ver a futuro. Más que todo, eh, el presente progresivo y cuando se habla ya de futuro y todo eso sí es lo que presento como, como dificultad más que todo porque me confunde ¿verdad? los auxiliares y todo lo que se tiene que, que utilizar. Ok, ¿en qué tema específicamente? Eh, sobre el presente progresivo o, ajá, creo que era el presente progresivo, el continuo creo que es cuando, sí, es el cuando mismo. se habla el... Donde es se el mismo. usa el verbo to be, ¿verdad? No. Exactamente, cuando se usa el verbo to be y se usa Ajá, un... Vaya, ese no, pero es como el progresivo y cuando ya se empieza a conjugar en los futuros y todo eso eh, me, me confunde un poquito. Ok, vamos a uno, el progresivo o el futuro, ¿cuál de los dos ahorita? El progresivo. El pro, vaya, el, okay. cuando me dices progresivo, estamos hablando siempre del continuo, cuando usamos el verbo to be y el verbo principal con ing. ¿Te refieres a ese? Ese es el progresivo. Ajá, el progresivo. sobre el futuro. Ajá, es el continuo. Ajá. Es que ese se usa para intenciones en futuro también. Uh -huh. El progresivo, vaya, por ejemplo. Mm. Imagínate que yo quiero decir, vaya, del vocabulario que vimos ahora, por ejemplo. Check email, ¿ok? Uh, imagines, imagínate que tú quieras decir en progresivo, ¿verdad? Estoy revisando mi correo electrónico. Ese es el progresivo, ¿ok? Y en inglés dirías, I am checking my email. I am, uso el verbo to be, luego checking, el verbo con ing. I am, my email. Usa el ing. Exactamente, uso el verbo to be. I am, pero un, is. Pero, pero un verbo creo que es. Que ocupa el, un verbo ocupa el 
el nombre de verbo y otro como sustantivo, ¿verdad? Es que creo que también hay otra, pero es que no recuerdo qué tema es, uh -huh. que uno ocupa el, el verbo, que son dos verbos conjugados, uh -huh. pero uno ocupa el, el verbo y el otro ocupa él. No será el, el presente perfecto. Ay, eh, por ejemplo, cuando digo que yo he comido, I have eaten, ¿no? Ajá, ajá. Ah, entonces eso se llama presente perfecto, present perfect. Ajá. Ah, ah sí, pues ya. ese. Me uh -huh. confunde porque los verbos cambian. Uh -huh. O sea, y los, los del pasado sí me recuerdo un poco, pero los de ese... Pasado participio. Ese presente sí me... Sí me ah, me sí. Ah, normalmente en este tiempo lo que se usa es un verbo auxiliar. Ok, primeramente, ¿verdad? Se usa el verbo have y el verbo has. Have o has. Depende del pronombre que estamos usando. En tercera persona uso el has. She has, it has, he has. Y en los demás uso el have, ¿ok? Ese have funciona como un verbo auxiliar, ¿ok? Significa haber. Yo he, el a, ella ha, el a, ellos han. A ver, Pero el verbo es diferente... Haber. Pero es diferente al pasado, ¿verdad? Porque el pasado yo tuve y ese yo he tenido. Ajá, exactamente. Ahora, Ajá. Eh, ese tiempo es diferente al pasado, lo que tú dices. Ahora, aparte de ese verbo have y has, uso un verbo principal. Perfecto. Ajá, correctamente, presente perfecto. Aparte de ese have y has, uso un verbo principal en pasado participio, ya no es en pasado lo que tú me estabas diciendo, es en pasado Ajá, participio que cambia, Ajá, por ejemplo si hablamos del verbo eat en pasado es ate y en pasado participio sería eaten entonces en el pasado participio en el presente perfecto voy a usar la forma del verbo en pasado participio entonces diría I have eaten y broke es es Broken. broken, exactamente. Y en pasado, en pasado es broke, broke, broke. broke. Ajá. Ajá. Aquí lo que te recomiendo es si tienes problemas en la conjugación de esos verbos, al menos el detalle es que tenemos dos clases de verbos, verdad. Y esto tú lo sabes, creo yo, los regulares y los irregulares. En el caso de los regulares no hay problema porque solo uso una regla y les pongo ed y ya estuvo. Ajá. El problema es con los irregulares porque esos cambian uh -huh. su forma. La mayoría de ellos cambian su forma y unos quedan lo mismo. Entonces lo que, lo que te recomiendo personalmente es que al menos busque un, busques una lista de verbos irregulares comunes en inglés. Así lo puedes buscar en, en Google. ¿okay? Lista de verbos irregulares comunes en inglés. Y okay. al menos los, los comunes, al menos que los manejes porque son los que vas a usar más seguramente. Okay. Y Por ejemplo, es... el verbo comer, el verbo qué, puede ser para quebrar. El... Uh -huh. Para el futuro es que se ocupa el going to, will be. Ajá, el will y el going to, depende sí, a qué te sí. quieras referir. El will lo usas para posibilidades. Cuando algo es posible, no está seguro, algo incierto. ¿Ok? okay? Algo incierto. Por ejemplo, si tú dices... Y el going to es cuando tienes un plan previo. Ah, ok. Vaya, por ejemplo, te digo, si, yo, si tú dices, I will, I will visit clients tomorrow. Es, un, es una probabilidad, ok. Es algo incierto. No lo sé si lo voy a hacer. Digo, I will, porque no estoy seguro. Tengo otras cosas que hacer. Uh -huh. Pero si ya lo tengo en mi agenda y estoy seguro que lo voy a visitar, entonces uso el going to. I am going to visit my clients tomorrow. Okay. Porque ya lo tengo agendado, ya estoy seguro que lo voy a hacer. No lo puedo dejar pasar. Esa es la diferencia entre el going to y el will. Uh -huh. okay. Teacher, ese, vaya, el módulo anterior, la maestra nos mostraba uno eh, como reguladores de tiempo. Eh, often, sometimes, never, eh, always, y todos esos. Y, de me, frecuencia. Ajá, y ella decía que, que eso los podíamos utilizar y ponía como un porcentaje, como uh -huh. para compararlo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Es como necesario, digamos, utili de, vaya, ya al, al hablar en inglés y todo, es necesario utilizarlo tal cual es la regla. O sea, si yo digo una palabra, digamos, eh, 
es que no los anoté, pero ella ponía... Always. Un hay, Always. Palabras, hay palabras que significan lo mismo, pero ella le ponía diferente porcentaje. Como eh, often y... O rarely. Usually. Usually, ajá, ajá. Entonces, usually. Pueden, uh -huh. pueden ser similares, o sea, uh -huh. de vez en cuando, por decirlo así en español, ¿verdad? Yeah. Lo podemos uh -huh. consumir de vez en cuando. Usualmente, entonces, a menudo. Ajá, uh -huh. Entonces, es como necesario que use, dependiendo del porcentaje, o puedo utilizar la que se adecue. A... No, o... ahí, ahí depende de tu contexto. Hay el porcentaje para que veas cuál puedes usar mejor. Por ejemplo, si estás hablando de tu... Para, para ver la definición o comprar. Correctamente. Ajá, porque imagínate que tú, tú quieres decir que, que haces ejercicio. Te voy a dar un ejemplo común, ¿ok? Uh, do exercise. Y quieres decir que a veces haces ejercicio, vas a usar sometimes, obviamente. Ajá, pero si quieres decir casi nunca, es decir... Vas a decir seldom o almost never, puede ser, ¿ok? Pero si tú quieres decir usualmente, ah, entonces cambias a often o a usually. Por eso es un porcentaje de frecuencia con el que tú haces las actividades. Ok. De acuerdo al porcentaje de que, en que tú realizas las actividades de las que quieres hablar, ese es, el, ese es el adverbio de frecuencia que vas a utilizar. Por eso es que siempre se te ponen los porcentajes, para que veas ah. la frecuencia. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. okay. sí. Gracias. Ok, no problem. Okay. okay, I don't know if you have more questions or that's it. No, that's it. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much for connecting. Thank you too. Okay. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Okay, bye-bye.